Hello there, first grade writers. It's Mrs. Davis here with your writing lesson for today. Today is Wednesday, May 5th. All right, my friends. So you finished up a piece yesterday with your publishing. Today you get to start a new piece. So today you will choose a new topic and brainstorm what you already know in your background knowledge. It can be a different animal, a famous person, something from outer space, an invention, a sport, whatever you're interested in. We start with an inquiry. So remember, an inquiry is a question. So when I went to the zoo with my family, I saw a log floating in the water. And then the log opened up its mouth and I saw a huge set of teeth. Yikes! I realized I did not know if the animal was an alligator or a crocodile. So I want to research and learn more. See you later. Alligator. We're gonna use a different tool today. So far we've used brainstorming webs. Today I thought we would pull out some alpha boxes. So once you've chosen your topic, it's time to brainstorm everything you already know in your background knowledge. So instead of a web, we'll be using alpha boxes today. We'll think of words that begin with a letter all about our topic. All right, so Miss Davis did some brainstorming and I made a video. Let's see if it'll play. Yeah. P. We're going to 
say predator. Because I know that they eat other animals. And I'm also going to add the word prey. Prey, those would be the animals that they eat. Just like in our food chain lessons we've talked about. Q. Hmm, no, nothing for Q. R. Reptile. I know alligators are reptiles. S. Swim. Oh, somewhere else. Alligators can be found in a swamp. T. T, t, t. Alligators have nice teeth. Well, they're chopping. You, I'm gonna use. How about underwater? So they do spend some of their time underwater. B. W. Underwater X plus. Okay, I'm gonna leave my alpha boxes there for now. Notice. Davis didn't think of words for every letter, but wow, I really got my brain going and thinking about those background knowledge words that I already have in my brain all about alligators. So that is how you use alpha boxes to help you brainstorm. Boy, thank you, Miss Davis, for modeling that. So that was brainstorming using alpha boxes, all about my topic of alligators. Your goal today is to choose a new topic for your next informational writing today. Use alpha boxes to help you brainstorm what you know about the topic already. Remember, you can come up with any informational topic that you would like. I chose another animal because I wanted to learn more about the animal that I saw at the zoo, but you are free to choose whatever topic you would like to learn more about. All right, writers, Ms. Davis will see you all tomorrow. Bye.